Welcome, welcome back guys. It's me, Mr. Frederick, once again. I'm sharing you a new exciting topic to start off this year. And we're gonna talk about today, the science of the living environment. Make sure to subscribe, to press the bell for notifications, and to comment and share so that you can stay up to date with all the latest content. Okay, this is part one, and we're gonna be talking about more parts so you can be ready for living environment. Without further delay, let's begin. Observation, um, what is basically what is seen and measured. So one of the things that we do is that we like to observe. Uh -huh. So we basically observe from our eyes. We observe things, we see them, and we wonder how is that happening, why is that happening, and we, based on what we observe, we measure things based on our eyes. Oh wow, that thing is blue, that thing is running this way. And that's one great thing about science that we do. Then ob observation leads us to the next word, which is inference. It's a, basically a conclusion um, from the observations from before or evidences that we find. So we use all our senses to make inferences of what happened um, and make a conclusion, okay? Another thing to also understand is that um, hypothesis is basically an untested prediction, an educated guess. So it shows us, it states the, both, the, both the cause and effect. So it says, if this happens, then then. So it's an if-then situation. Very interesting because most of the hypotheses are all stated from if-then statements, okay? Another thing to also understand that is really crucial is theory. Now, theory is a broad explanation of natural events that is supported by strong evidence. So when you have a when you have a hypothesis and you rigorously test it over and over again and it shows evidence that it's like, oh wow, this is this is confirming this um this hypothesis that you stated before, then that hypothesis becomes a theory. When you take it further and test that theory and it becomes more accurate and good and it's confirming, then that same theory to transform and come later on to a law. Okay, so that is it for today. Um, keeping it well simple as always. Um, look out for more videos coming up from part two, and I'll see you in the next video. All right, take care and stay alert because I'm coming with more. Ciao.